Good morning, class, and welcome to another interesting edition of our database development course. With respect to this one, uh, I had a discussion with my students on how to use assets to develop a simple database. As I've always been saying, I wanted us to do or start with the level zero, that is developing database using a simple application like the assets. So some of the students have done it and we had a lengthy discussion and I want you to follow it as they demonstrate how they did their development and some of the issues that came up. Thank you. As you watch, take your time, watch to the end and you will enjoy watching this video. It will help you to understand how to create a simple database using assets. I asked them to use University of Energy and Natural Resources Library as a key study. Thank you and continue watching the video. Yeah, we can all see. Can you all see? Please, okay, so basically what? See? Yes, yes sir. Talk, we, I can see. Okay. Yes, we can. Oh, 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 okay. So, so dog, basically what I did was that uh, I created, I went to the site to do some research and I realized that, you know, we have about six schools. On our side, and then we have this one, two, three, up to six: School of Sciences, School of Natural Resources, Agri, and so on, so forth. So I decided to create an entity for schools, and uh, in the records, I, I broke down the schools into the various records, and in the attributes of that entity, I just had only two the key, primary key, which is the ID, and then the other entity. So, hello? Yeah, we, we, we are following. Hello? Yeah, we are following you. Oh, okay, so the next thing I did was that all these records were now uh, broken down to create entities for them, which was School of Sciences, School of Natural Resources, Management Sciences, and so on and so forth. Okay. So I realized that, what do I have under these schools? Then I realized that I have programs, uh, departments that these schools, they run. So when you open these schools, you will see the uh, records. Inside that school, you'll find the various departments under the schools. So we have School of Computer Science, Chemical mm. Science, and so on and so forth. So I said that, okay, we can still go down, you know, with uh, relation to the assignment you gave us. In the video, you realize that these departments also have programs that they run under them. So what I realized was that I had to create their programs under them. So for example, let's pick the School of Science and uh, Computer Science and Informatics. So I created a department, an entity here called uh, okay, any computer science and informatics. Then when it opens, you realize that this, this department of computer science and informatics also have these programs under it. This is for educational uh, explanation purposes. So I said, let me write it this way. Okay. So it has this, yes, this attribute also has these records under them. You would see the BSc computer science, which we have from the level 100 to 400, information technology, 100 to 400, the diploma in cool. So I just said, let me use this one that I am doing right now uh, to explain. So I said, okay, if it is so, this particular program, what do they also do inside the under it? So I said, then let me create another entity and we'll see what they have under. So this is computer science. MSc and field computer science. This is the first semester. This is the second semester. Because of to to explain. So on and so for schools who are here, these are the course title as as attributes to this okay. entity, uh, computer science, MSc and field. So I went ahead to break down, let's say. Okay. 
one particular language. Let's Oh, that is programming we have under programming languages. We have the courses that we will study under this, uh, the, 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 the reading materials. So I have okay. the book title here. Mm -hmm. The uh, I picked about some few books. And then the first, the author, the first name, mm -hmm. the second name, uh, that's the okay. last name. Then okay. I have the edition. I yeah. have the publishing uh, company name. I have the origin where the country when it was published, I have the year when it was published. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get the exact date, but just month and year. And and this IS oh, uh, International Standard Book number, mm -hmm. I, I didn't get for all, but I am still uh, yeah. looking to see. So after everything, I tried to do something that uh, was still bothering me. So these are what I have done, and this is what I am still trying to do. I tried to make the relationship link them up. And when mm -hmm. I tried that, I realized that when I want to, <laughs> when I want to see, let's say comparative, uh, sorry, comparative studies, the pros and cons, that is the book title. Mm -hmm. And I could find, when I linked it, I, I, I really don't get it very well. It, it, it's picking some numbers and putting it somewhere. So that is what I am still trying to figure out how to uh, do it. So some of them, what, uh, when I do it, I could tell the, the names and the other distance appearing, the records appearing, but that is not exactly how it's what, supposed to what, be done. What you wanted? No, 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 not at all. So I did a lot of relationships that I realized that this was the wrong pairing, so I had to break them down. So but this you, is what you I know, am... You know that, for example, uh, yes, a course, uh, a, a book for... Uh, Maybe MSC database book. Okay. MSC database book can be used by undergrad. Do you know that? Exactly. Ah. So that is what is giving me an idea that I still need to break more entities down. Exactly. So I'm thinking that this part, I have to leave the programming, comparative programming languages, the book, but, but, uh, create you know, an entity the, for uh, it so that the, it will just be. One beauty about database, like database management system, compared to the like the traditional file, man, uh, the traditional file system is like this. You can create a relationship, and the relationship will help you to reduce redundancy. Because, for example, okay. if one book, if one book can be used by three or four programs, when you create a relationship, you don't need to repeat them. Okay. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. For example, if like our our school, uh, the computer engineering students, like the Department of Computer Engineering, if they uh, they are also doing masters, for, you will see that some of the course that they will be doing will be equal to what you are also doing. Exactly. And the same time, even at the at the undergraduate level. You will see, you will find out that some of the courses, because you can't do computer engineering without doing network, without doing database, without doing operating system. So some of these courses will cut across. But the only problem here with respect to uh, our uh, university system is that uh, a, a course like database management system, computer engineering students are doing it, but because it is under the app department, they will have a different course code. Okay. <laughs> but I know elsewhere, once the program is a common program, it's the same program, no matter where the program is being offered, they will have one, one unique code. I know a, a, a university like Legon, they have that system. For example, Legon, you will see that a, 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 a statistics student who move to maybe a social science department to offer a course. I don't read the same course code will appear on the student transcript. But our department, sometimes there are differences. Sometimes there are differences. So when you have such uh, 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 such records, if you are building a database for such, but I know that definitely with respect to our uh, uh, the assignment that I've given, because me personally, I've done it myself. 
I know there are relationships, but as you move on, you realize that, yes, this was what uh, uh, Mr. Penn was saying. So I, I, in fact, for now, I'm impressed with whatever you are doing, but please, programming, you need to do a lot of logical reasoning. That's oh, one okay, thing sorry. about uh, programming, database. So like trying to create a relationship and you must also understand the system. That is why I told you to use your own university as an example. Because if you understand the system, you realize that, oh, these courses, this relation, this thing is there, this entity is there, let me link them. So these are some of the things. So uh, uh, Don Pre, I'm really impressed about what you have done for me and also for the class. Thank you very much. And uh, make sure you, you continue with the other destiny. I can see that you are also you still have a lot of work to do. Y yes, sir. Yes, uh, you are still on track. You are still on track. You are still on track. At least, uh, like I said, I will make sure that all of you, at least you all experience the practical aspect of database, as well as the research aspect, because you are doing a postgraduate study. So God willing, next week, I will take you through some of the research areas in uh, uh, in database management systems. Okay. Where you can apply database management systems. So that some of you, the smart ones, and those who are also interested in database, can even pick your, your final project topic out of it. I know some of you are, you are doing MSC one year, and the MSC one year, around this time, you should, be, you should uh, be thinking of your project topic. If you don't have a project topic, then please, you have to quickly start working on one. Because you have only one year, and within that one year, you are supposed to finish your course where you can also finish your thesis or whatever and defend and graduate. Thank you very much. The next person is who? Okay, doctor, please, I'm back. This is Justice um, Williams. I'm sorry, the first person. Okay, now so you I'm want to come? Connected. You want to come? Okay, so... Okay, so, um, okay, so Justice, share as your screen. Okay. I hope the other the other class members you are you are all following it. Yes, doc. Yes, yes, doc. Okay, yes, thank you very much. If you also have any questions, you can ask your colleague. It is a way of learning from your colleagues. Okay, please. Okay. Uh, my screen shared and uh, can you see it? We can see. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can now see it. Okay, so. Um, I have named the project University Management System, which is the UMAT. So I have created um, a lot of tables in. So we have the table name book. Okay. And, and we have um, BSc Chemistry, mm -hmm. uh, BSc Computer Science, BSc Mathematics, BSc Statistics. Then that one are the programs in in the school, that's what I've created now. Then we also have diploma in chemistry, diploma in computer science, diploma mathematics, diploma statistics. Then we have MPhil computer science, um, MPhil MSc computer science, PhD computer science. So there are some of the tables. Then when you come here, we also have the school. We have the school here. Then the book, we have the publisher, we have the program and the database um, access has um, arranged it in order. That's why the book uh, has gone to the top there. Yeah, yeah, we, we can see it. Okay, so I will start from the school. The school table, when you open, we have School of Science, School of Agri and Technology, School of Engineering, School of Natural Resources, School of Geosciences, School of Management Science, and Graduate School. So, I've already created the relationships, which we will go there later. So when you click on school of graduates, uh, when you click on graduate school, then you have all the programs which are being offered by the graduate school. So we have MSc, MPhil Computer Science, which is under um, graduate school. We have PhD um, Computer Science, MSc Land Economy, PhD Land Economy, MSc Applied Statistics, MSc Natural Resource Management, and PhD natural resource management. These are some of the programs which falls under the um, graduate school. Then when we come to school of sciences or school of science, we also have um, computer science, which implies of BSc, P, um, BSc and diploma. We have information technology, we have computer science, we have statistics, we have actuarial science, 
we have mathematics, biology, nursing, medical laboratory science. So that is also the programs that fall under School of Sciences. Then we but, have uh, School of uh, Justice. Yes, uh, doctor. The, the School of Science, did you see the, pro, uh, the diploma programs? The diploma program, yeah, I was saying, th these are the major programs that we do. So when you when you get into the program- Okay, so you, you be, now go further, okay. I, 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 uh, I uh, It will yeah, also okay. be broken into the other, um, well, so when it comes to um, agri and technology, we have quite wide life management, fisheries and water resources management. So these are some of the, so engineering, we have civil engineering, petroleum engineering, computer engineering, mechanical engineering, building technology. So that is um, geosciences, health science, real estate development. So these are some of them. Then when you come to program, we also have program here. So when you click computer science, then we have the various programs. And when you, when you go into program, like for instance, computer science, then we will have the courses which are being done by computer science. So we have, when you click on information technology, these are the courses being done by computer technology, um, computer information technology rather. But as doctor explained earlier, we have some borrowed courses. For instance, computer science offer, offering, um, um, let's say statistics or calculus or algebra course, it is a borrowed program or a borrowed course. So in my, in my first degree, we use the same um, course code. So computer science course started COMP, which is COMP, then the course code will follow. But when you are doing statistics, because it is a borrowed course from a statistics department, you will use um, statistics um, course code. So we start with ST80, which is start, then the number will follow. So algebra and trigonometry is a borrowed course from other departments, which is being offered by computer science. So it is a borrowed course for mathematics. So you will see it's for here, and it is being offered by level 100 students of um, computer science. Then we have introductory to computational maths. That one also is a borrowed program or a borrowed course from other mathematics departments. So it is also being offered by um, computer science, which is level 200. So these are some of the few things. Then when you come to books, we have, when you open the book, we have introductory to artificial intelligence. We have programming logic and design. And we have the author first name, we have the author um, second name or the last name. Then we have number of authors here. We have edition. Then we have the ISBN um, number. We have, okay, this book number was created particularly for linking, um, for creating um, the relationship. So when I put the book number here, it helps me to able to, so this one, when you go into the database entity, the schema, it is seen as a foreign key. So it's the foreign key helps for easy relationship creation. So it will be linked to a, a, a primary key in a particular table or a particular table. Name. So when you click on programming logic and design, then we have the name here. So when you open it, it is telling you that programming logic and design is being <clears throat> It's being used in algebra and trigonometry class and also introductory to computing, um, computational math class, which is being offered in course SEM because it is coming from the mathematical department or the math department, it's BSc math course. So we have the semester number here, which is SEM1, SEM1, and it's being offered course level, which is um, level 100, level 200 here. So, and when you also click on this one, calculus, calculus is a mass and it is being offered by mathematics students. So we have BSc mathematics here, BSc mathematics for the course name. Then the course semester is course two and calculus one is being offered by BS uh, mass course level, which is level 200. So this is the, um, the field name and there is the entity in the field and um, the table name 
here is the book. So when you have a book, you can also see a publisher. So when you click on publisher, we have the publisher name here or the publishing house, the origin or the country of publishing. Then we have the year the book was published and published uh, number. This one also is a foreign key. This is the primary key for the published um, ID or the publisher ID. So this is also a foreign key. So this foreign key also helps for easy connection of the relationship. So when you click here, it is telling you that this book, Artificial uh, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence, this is the publisher name. So we have the Springer publisher origin from USA, the year of publishing, 21st July, 2016. Then this is um, the pub name, as I said earlier, is being used as a, a foreign key. So we will not concentrate much on that. Then when uh, we come to that, the- Justice. Yes, um, doctor. So with respect to the, the books alone, yeah. what is your primary key? With respect to the book, my primary key is here, the book ID. You see, um, when you are using access, access will not help you to, or it will not permit you to modify your primary key ID. So that one will be given to you and it will be auto increment. So that one is here. But the foreign key is being, you can create your own foreign key for easy connection of database so that you can link a primary key to a foreign key when you are doing the relationship. So. The primary key is here. Why, is why, why, why not the ISD number? The ISD number can also be used, but in a situation whereby you, um, you want to change the ISD number, it means you also have to go through all the books to change them. But when you use um, a foreign key, whenever you change the foreign key, it is telling um, the data entity that this particular field has been changed. So it should be connected to um, all the entities that fall within that um, foreign My team. ISB number cannot be changed. Once you have the book, every book has its own ISB number. So I don't see uh, a situation where the book ISB number is changing. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, doctor. Then I'll, I'll work on that. I'll use the ISB no, number. No, no, I really understand. No, I know, I know what you are talking about because the yeah. question that I'm asking you, some, okay. of, some of your colleagues may also ask. Okay. Because yeah. whenever you talk about primary key, something yeah. unique, and with respect yeah. to book, the ISB yeah. number is always unique. Yeah. Okay. Just um, like doctor, your yeah. students in this number. So why do yeah. you have to? Uh, worry yourself to go and create another uh, key for that. When you can use the ISB number. Okay, the, the fact of the issue is when you look at the ISB, it's having a hyphenated um, figure mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be a number. So initially when creating that field, I use a number, but the um, access database rejected the hyphen here, which didn't permit me because instead I selected a number. So it's supposed yes. not to be Hyphenated. So why didn't you make it a character? Oh, I, sorry, a test. Yeah, when I use a test, um, I also wanted the, um, so far as it is a key, I wanted the field to also be a number. So I said, oh, if it's not permitting me, then let me use a number rather. So when I select here, it is a number. So when I put a test here, it will reject it. So I thought of using a number rather than a test in a key. That's why I use I use that one. Okay, can you wrap up so that the next person also take over? Okay, so I have um, the relationship here, a whole lot of a relationship. This is the book, this is the, the course, this is the publisher. So the published ID has been linked to the book number and the book number is a foreign, um, a foreign um, ID. So there's a, a primary key, a foreign key has been linked together and uh, we have a whole lot of relationships. So the school also have been linked to the program and um, the program also have been linked to the course. So we also have some queries reports here. When you check um, this query report, it, is, it has been created book query too. So you can see that um, BSC mass, the, uh, the people who can, or the programs who can offer BSC mass and the various, um, um, books that they can use and 
um, the school that the program falls under. So information technology, computer science, mathematics, they all fall under um, the school of sciences. And we have um, the publisher also linked here. We also have a second book, which means um, the author, the book, and um, the people who can also use and the level at which the books that they, they are in the program. So here, the program name is Achira Science and it's been offered by level 100 and we have insurance, which is also being offered by level 400, which can use um, the book, which is being allocated here. Have you, have, finished with, well, have you finished populating your database with data? I mean, your system with data? No, please, I'm not done yet. I'm still on it because when you look here, we have um, BSc chemistry, of which I also have some data entities here, and I have computer science, I have statistics, I have other um, diploma programs, MSc, which I've not done with this. So as time goes on, I will complete them and I will work um, on, I will do the necessary things which are to be done. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I, uh, you, I really appreciate your presentation and uh, the details of your work. That is the beauty of uh, uh, programming or that is the beauty of design. You see that his approach was totally different from what uh, uh, Abraham did. You realize that Abraham, what Abraham did was not wrong, but in the case of Abraham, he, he classified the, from, uh, the program be run by our department. I mean, the MSc and the PhD as part of the, the graduate school program. Are you getting it? Uh, so these are some of the things. And uh, there is no way you do a project and the logic will, will, will always be the same. This is what I was talking about the last time, that uh, the, uh, I don't expect all of you to be doing the same thing. Just the two of you, one can draw the, uh, the, 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 the difference between the two. Please, anybody with a question to uh, the first two guys? Hello, Doc. Uh -huh. Hello. Yeah, Ima. Doc, please, I want to make a suggestion. Uh, OK. You were struggling to um, give the um, primary key, or is it the foreign key, the international standard book number? Mm -hmm. I could see that he wrote um, ISBN underscore number again. Yeah. Me was the uh, last N there stand for number. So yeah. why not just remove the underscore number there, leaving only the international standard book number there, the ISBN. Okay. Well, if you join it, it will be like um, international standard book number number. I don't know whether that can be correct. Oh, okay. Okay. No problem. Justice. Note it. Okay, uh, very well noted. Thank you. Okay. Hello, it's time to say that Thank you, you are making the same tautology. Yeah, I've understood. Thank but you. But you know much. that we, we, all of us will be making those mistakes. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true, Doc. <laughs> you, know, you know, we always say, my 10 number. Doc, it's true. <laughs> uh, just, now, just yesterday, I went to the GRO office, then I said my 10 number. I said, ah, what have I done? Ah, but the 10... The end, is, the end is also the number. So how can I have my thin number? It's, it's very true. Yeah. Sometimes, ah, okay. sometimes I, I say we do digest the beauty of the thing, uh, of the statement. Ah, okay. Then Hello, the Doc. The list is who? Hello, Ajay Doc. Anthony. Hello, Doc. Yeah, Ajay. Uh, doc, this is not Ajay. I, I want to um, also comment to Justice's um, presentation. Okay. Uh, if you will permit me. Oh, you're on the uh, floor. Uh, please, this is Godfrey. Um, okay. Please, with respect to the primary key and mm -hmm. the ISBN, which mm -hmm. you had wanted him to use that instead, mm -hmm. I think um, um, uh, the purpose of database of uh, developing application programs um, is to help us to use things easily and efficiently. Okay. And um, we know that in databases, once we develop our tables and um, create uh, every uh, store data, the next thing to do is to create queries and generate reports. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I think um, 
what just I will side with justice based on the primary key the, that creating new field for primary key well, in terms of in teaching. Office. Yeah. So that you wouldn't, you know, the ISB and usually you cannot keep it in mind. And <laughs> as he said, includes um hyphen. But if you have a very simple primary key code, then it will be very easy in terms of searching. And I think um, um, if maybe that will not be, uh, we will not be penalized, then I think oh, no, um, no, 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 no. that is a good reason. See, one thing, one thing, me, for example, with my experience, when I, uh, whenever I'm teaching any course, I mean, any practical oriented course, like programming, database, and other things, I, I always want the students to demonstrate whatever he or she has done and explain herself. Because you, the lecturer, or you, the master, marking the script or assessing the student, some of the things that they may, they may use, some of the logic behind, behind whatever they are using may even be a new thing. And that is, the, that is the essence of research. So me, for example, I was aware of what he was doing. In fact, I've done it before. But like I have been saying, we must all start from level zero. Someone may, be, may ask, ah, but once we have uh, the ISBN number or ISBN being uh, a unique, why is he creating additional things? Yeah. You know, we didn't all attend the same university, the same uh, uh, computer science program in the same place. And each and everyone has his own background. So I just wanted, most of the questions that I was asking, I was asking for your colleagues. Okay, Doc. Uh -huh. That's Thank very you. Well noted. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, Doc, yes, I have a question. Ask. Yes. Yes, for, uh, for justice. Okay. Yes, justice, I wanted to find out. Uh, I realized that you create a, a field uh, or a column as a foreign key in the table that you are going to link. But then the numbering is the same as what you have in the auto-generated primary keys. So I wanted to ask, is it not possible for you to use that a primary key column as a secondary key in, in another table, rather than creating um, another table uh, filled just for it. Um, okay, Jonathan, thank you. Yeah. You see, when you check from the field name, um, the number doesn't take, or it doesn't pick from one, two, three. It is being picked the field name and attach um, the numbers to. So for instance, when the primary key, the field name is, let's say, um, um, BSC mass ID, then it will attach BSC mass ID one, BSC mass ID two, and that's the primary key. And when you go to the foreign key, and let's say it's ISBN um, one, ISBN two, ISBN three, so when it is doing the comparison, it takes this um, the field name and attach it to the number. So it means that the numbers will be in brackets and the field names will be behind the numbers. So when picking, it will multiply it and it will pick it. It will multiply it and it will pick it. I don't know if you have if I've gotten that concept. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. even though I'm having one, two, three, four up to six here, one, two, three, four up to six year, um, the um, technologically or technically, they are not the same because when you go behind the course, when you go to the back end, it will, or when you write a query, it will bring you the number and it will attach um, it, their field names to it. So if the field name is um, first name, then the numbers one, two, three. So it will say first name one, first name two, first name three. Then second name, so second name one, second name two, second name three. So the first name one will not be the same as second name one. Thank you. Okay, I will, I will allow one, one last question. Hello, uh, Doc. Yes, because we uh, also uh, have to give opportunity to the other guys to also present. Maybe they can also have a different approach of doing the same thing. So let's, uh, 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 who is G? Uh, it is George Adam Finn. Okay. I just want to uh, pass a, a comment on uh, Justice's uh, presentation. Okay. You, you, you asked him about the uh, primary key, why he yeah. didn't use the ISBN. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he said, uh, what he said was that they, they the didn't allow him to use, to use the hyphen. Oh, the underscore, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and then it, it, it automatically allowed him to use only integers. You know, currently, me, I'm not, I'm, I, I've been using uh, SQL. Mm -hmm. And then what we use currently, we use a, a global unique ID. Please, the uh, GUID. Uh, Finn, Sorry. let us not bring SQL in. Yeah, but I just want to, you know, he said, what he said that uh, it didn't permit him to use a hyphen. See, you currently, what we do, we use a globally unique ID, which permits hyphens. You said he should have, he could have used a text instead yeah. of the integer field. Yeah. And when you use a text, it will allow you to use a hyphen. Yes. Which currently, uh, databases, when we are defining a primary key, what we use is a global unique ID, okay. which allows hyphens in uh, four parts. Okay. So you have hyphens in four parts. So when you look at the national identification uh, cards we did recently, that was mm -hmm. why they use. When you look at when you look at the ID, it is some weird numbers with some four hyphens in between the four parts of uh, weird numbers. Okay. And that is what currently uh, is, is being used. Okay. So you Thank don't you. have to use an integer which automatic will automatically increases. But when you use a, if you are using a, any a programming language, it automatically assigns it. You don't have to worry about what you assign. It automatically assigns it to the primary key. Okay. Uh, someone has a concern. Someone is saying that uh, you are taking them too far. Uh, I really appreciate that uh, concern. So I will take note of that. Please let us carry the other members on board. That is why uh, Finn, when you started bringing SQL and other things in, I wanted to, I mean, cut you, but uh, it is also good. At least some of your colleagues, you, you, you get the opportunity to know your friends or your colleagues who are more or less good in some of the areas. You can link up with them so that they can also assist you. That is the beauty of, um, Garbage studies. Okay, so the next person should also help her. But please let us restrict ourselves to access. When we finish with access, when we, when we move to SQL, you realize that some of the issues that access, some of the limitations that you were having with respect to using access, we can use the SQL to solve it. So please let us, for now, let us take to uh, access because that is what you all of you are using. Thank you. Okay. AJ Anthony. Sir. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Share your screen with us. Please, can you see? Yeah, we can see. Yes, please. We can see. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So my presentation is actually based on what I have done so far, what I am doing, and what is remaining. And as you can see, I've really tried to make the database so simple that anybody without knowledge can use it. So here I have created only seven tables for the whole project. Please, uh, some of us can't see the database. We still see your um, folder. They are here. Item. Oh. Have you seen them? We can oh, only see. We can so only see. Yeah, see uh, we can only yes, see the, if the document folder. The documents folder is what we see. <laughs> I think you have to close it and reopen it. What about this one? Yeah, we can see. Now we can see. We can see now. 
Okay. So as I said, I have tried to make the thing so simple, but then very voluminous. So I decided to create only seven tables. Being books, courses, department, level, programs, school, and then semester. And then I have populated these tables with data. So for example, if I open, let's say um, programs, you will see that I've inputted all the programs. Though that's not all the program, I am still doing the population. And then I have linked the programs to schools and then departments. The same way, I've also done for departments. So you see the departments at the school. I am doing it for books. I have the books there, but then I haven't inputted them, which I will do later on. But as you can see, I've created all the parameters here. So I'll just do the population. Then I have done same for school. I have also created or established the relationship between them. So that when I create, so when I click on, let's say science, science here is a name of a school, right? Can you all see? Yeah, we can see. Yes. So that if I if I click on science, you will see the schools, sorry, the departments and the science. Here we have computer science and informatics, chemical sciences, basic and applied biology, mathematics and sciences. The same way I've also done all the linking and the relationship. So that when I click on computer science and informatics, I will see the programs which falls under computer science. The same way when I still click on computer science, you will see the programs. Yes, yeah, so that is how I have done my work. It is so simple, but very informative because I've, I've really done the linking so well that I don't have to create so many tables for you to use this database. So that is what I have done. And I've done that for most, most of the tables. Um, let me see programs. Yes, programs too, I have done them the same way. When I click on next, yes, I think this one I haven't done the linking to the levels and then the other things. So basically that is what I have done. And what, I am, what I'm doing now is the population population of the courses. You see, I am inputting all the courses being run at the school. As you can see, I am inputting them. And when I'm done, I've already done the linking. So when I'm done, I will link these courses to semesters and then course codes. So that when I click on the course, you will see the semester that they are running the course and then the school, as it has already been linked to schools and other tables. So that is what I am working on right now. And then when I'm done with this one, I also work on, um, let me see. I also work on the semester. That one, you see, I have only two semesters. Just first semester and then second semester. All the linking I have done already, it's just that, I haven't inputted the course ID. So when I'm done and I click on this first semester, all the courses running under the first semester and then the various schools will, will come. So that is what I want to do now. Have so you short... some... Hello. You... Yes, yes, I have done some relationship. Let me Let's show see. you. Yes, I have done so many relationships here. I've done so many relationships. So that for the relationship, I've done most of them. Just like that, I haven't inputted the courses and then the semester. So that is what I'm working on right now. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you very much. Any question for him or suggestion or comment? Doc. I like his approach. Doc, I, I want to comment. Okay. This is Godfrey. I think um, I have done almost the same thing with this gentleman. Um, pardon me, I don't know you because we've not been meeting face to face. But I, I, mean, I know you. Don't worry, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest um, the, the captions of the various fields mm -hmm. can be done better than this. So that um, when we go to the, um, uh, the, the, the program, um, uh, how do I, the field names can be what we have here so that we give it a caption. You can see that when you open your tables, the, the field headers are having some hyphen. You can caption it and then separate them to make them bold or something. So that oh, yeah. the field yes. name will, uh -huh. that is yeah. Yeah. I will do that. I will do that. I will do that. Uh, I want, that is what I wanted to suggest. Thank you. Okay. So as I said, it's, it's so simple, but it has all the needed information. So that if I give it to anybody with that knowledge, or I don't have to go and then explain myself. Anybody yeah. can actually use this program. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Anthony. I... Yes, sir. Yeah, Anthony. Yeah. Okay, there's justice. Um, you, your work is very nice. And Thank you. I appreciate it. But one thing is, you know, mm -hmm. the more you go, the, mm -hmm. the more challenges uh, you will be facing. So like, it's very nice. It's very simple. But I would say that we wouldn't have much questions to be asked because of less data. Because when you have more data, it is where a data will conflict others and you will get to know how it is. So I would say the approach is very nice. So like I would be much grateful if we have uh, enough input data so that you will get to appreciate how it really works. But what you've done, I think is also nice. And thank you too, right? Okay, thank you, Justice. Okay, the next person. I hope the other members are following. Yes, Doc. Mr. Damba Philip. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Damba Philip, are you online? Please, I'm not Damba. I'm in. No, I have seen. I'm just. I just want to find out those who are. Following the class. Isaac Japan, are you online? Mr. Kofi Kwaten. Yes, Doc, I'm online. Uh, Mr. Kusidria Samuel. Oh, hello, sir. I'm online. Okay. Are you following the discussion? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Okay. The next person on the list. Okay. So, please, can you, uh, who, who is sharing the screen? I, I, Mr. AJ Anthony. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, the next person. Hey, please, I'm coming. Yes, sir, please, I'm coming. Okay. Oh, we should move to the next person. No, please. Yes. Please, I believe you can see my screen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. That's what we so, Good. Good in class. And good me. Say. Hello, sir. Please, can I go on? Yeah, yeah, you can go on. We are following. Yes. Uh, good evening, class, and good evening, sir. Uh, uh, my own research that I've done, I'm able to do some things more, which I believe will be appreciated. Uh, per the task given, I'm supposed to uh, 
develop a database for UNE yeah. library. Mm -hmm. And uh, per the understanding, uh, I've created five groups, yeah, yeah. five tables. Yes, Hello. five tables. And so the tables are books, courses, departments, programs, semesters, and UNE school. So when you open the school, under the school, we have a, a school of sciences, we have natural resources, we have a architect, engineering, a management, and law, we have a graduate student in geosciences. Then I move to department, under the school, we have department. So the department, under the department, we have computer science and informatic, we have a, a animal production, a great a geographical sciences. We have about a 18 of them and I'm able to list all of them. Under the department, we are running programming. So we have programming here. So when we come to the science uh, department, we have a DSC actually has science, which run from a level 100 to 400. We have a BSc a, a biological science, which from, run from 100 to 400. BSc chemistry, BSc computer science, information technology, a mathematics, a medical, a, a by diagnostic science, all run from 100 to 400. Then we have a, a diploma courses such as a computer science, which run from 100 to 200, information technology, a insurance, and a statistics, which also run from a 100 to 200. We have computer science in MSc, which is only for a year, which is only 100. We have M4, we have PhD computer science, we have M MSc in chemistry. So I'm able to list them. Then when I move to books, books, the task is to look for the title of the book, the, uh, the name of the publisher, that's the first and the second name of the publisher, the publishing house, the country of origin, the year of uh, uh, year in which the book was published. All of these uh, attributes have been listed and I will fill in the, the, all the necessary books. We have courses under the courses that we are running. So we have the course name, reading and the reading materials. I'm able to uh, uh, create the attribute for the courses. Then the last one will be the semester. The semester, we basically, we run two semesters for every year. So we have post one and post two uh, for the semesters. The honest truth is uh, this programming, I, I read it just within five days and this is what I'm able to do because one, I did not get the question because of network issue on the day that the assignment was given, I did not hear. I only got to know of this assignment last week, Saturday, and I got the assignment itself on Monday. And I don't have much knowledge on this uh, database. So I read, and this is what I'm able to have done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. And uh, as I have been See, no matter your background, no matter uh, your level of understanding in, the, uh, in programming or in database, at least by the end of this course, you have a feel of whatever. At worst case scenario, you said you didn't have any idea about this, but now you can create this. So I will urge you to quickly at least, you have seen that about three or four people have uh, presented before you. See, yes, see where you need help so that they can be of they can also assist you. For me, I really appreciate what you have done. Per the information like the, the background that you are sharing with us. I really appreciate it. So I will urge you or I'll suggest that you see some of your colleagues who have really advanced in their work so that they also help you. But you said at the last time you, you didn't join us. 
No, the, 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 on the day that the assignment was given, because of the network challenges, I did not hear any of I did not hear of this assignment. So it was last week Saturday that you said uh, we should prepare for the assignment. That where well, I got to know that we have a task ahead of us. And Monday. So that, I, does it mean does it mean you are not following the my YouTube channel? Because the last time I uploaded a discussion, the recorded version of whatever we did on my YouTube channel. I do follow your YouTube. YouTube channel, but honestly speaking, I did not uh, get get this information. Okay, so that that video is also is still there. If you want reference about whatever assignment I gave, I gave you you can uh, uh, go and watch it, and you 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 have a feel of it, right? Thank you. The next Thank person. You very much. So you have to stop sharing your screen, uh -huh. The next person is uh, Let me see. The next person is Safwa Tayao. Uh, Are you here. ready? Uh, yes, please. Uh, so please start sharing I'm your screen sharing with us. My screen. Can, I'm sharing. Please, can we see? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we yes. can now see. Can see. Okay. Um, this is Safo Atayao, and uh, this is what I've been able to do so far. Uh, I didn't, I've not created much tables, but uh, I'm, I guess all that we need is there. I have about uh, five tables here. I will start from the schools. When you open the schools, what I, my, what I did was that uh, once you open a school, you should be able to see all the programs, the departments, and then the references that they are having. So I linked all of them, and this is what I came up with. Now, when you open the schools table, uh, you will see that there are five, uh, about seven schools there. You click on, or you open any of the schools, and then you see the departments that are there. So in this, my work, you click on uh, the School of Sciences, then you will see the departments that are there, which are computer science and informatics, chemical sciences, basic and applied biology, and then mathematics and statistics. Now, when you click on, or when you click on any of the departments, you see the courses that they are having. And then and in, the, in the course table, you have the level the course years, the level, the number of years that you spent in doing that course, the levels from which level and then to which level there. So for example, if you go for the BSc computer science, it's a four year course and then starts from level 100 to level 400. And then on that one, if you select or you click on the BSc computer science, you see uh, the courses that they will be taking for each semester. So for the level 100, first semester, they will have these, these parts are the levels that we have. Then we have the semesters here, which have been num numbered one and then two. So under this, under the semester, uh, semester one represents the, the first semester and then the two represents the second semester. So here, this record here, is saying that for level 100, first semester, you will do a course with the code UGRC150, which is, and the course name is Critical Thinking and Practical Reasoning. So that is how it has been scheduled to uh, level, uh, this part. And I am, so, so far that is where I've reached. I am now doing my referencing, uh, the references, and I have some books here. I have not linked them to. I have uh, some books here, which I have written. I have uh, inputted the data, but I have not linked them to the, uh, the courses yet, in which I hope to finish later on. Uh, so far, that is what I have been able to come up with. Thank you. 
Um, probably let me show my. Uh, my okay so far that is what i have been able to do thank you okay um hello doc yeah. yes please please um i i want to ask mr Safos, uh, uh mr Safo a question um okay I, I i want to find out the difference between the first two fields of the current um, it, it seems it cuts across in all his table. Um, the default ID field, which is usually generated by access. And then he is also having reference ID. So what is the difference between the two IDs? Okay. Um, the reference ID I intend to use for the, uh, the reference for the books. So like I open a, 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 a course a course uh, field. You see that we have a reference ID here, which is the uh, um, the key the key field here. And uh, what I intend doing is this field will be linked to the courses here, and it is going to use the reference ID, not the this ID. This ID is just uh, numbering the number of fields, I, the number of records I have. But I am going to link this courses, this reference ID here to the uh, reference ID for the books or the reference materials that will be uh, put there. Okay, thank you. Hello, doctor. Please, come I, um, can I come in? Yeah. Yes, just. Ah, okay. Um, as you said, um, the ID on, on the left, first left side is numbering it. That was the case that I have. So I just want to prompt him that it's not just numbering it, but it is indicating that they are the primary key. So even without the reference key, still the access will be able to recognize any field with this number. So please, it's not just the a number, it is an um, ID, which is a primary key. So this one reference ID per your explanation will be your foreign key, which will be able to help you to link other resources thank you and moreover can you show us your relationships because i just want to learn from there so i'll be um, grateful if you could show okay. us your relationships um, thank you okay um i i would like to say something um with the referencing when you get to my the course the courses here uh this one is now my uh my primary key and then in the referencing, the ID is the primary key. I just uh, decided to use the primary key in the courses to do the, 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 the relation to the referencing. But I, what I realized is that in the, in the referencing, some, as Doc said, some books can be used by different uh, departments. So if I'm to also use the reference, or if I'm also, if I'm to use or to make use of the ID, which is the auto-generated keys, then I'm going to have a problem. That is why I decided to use uh, the reference ID in the references and not rather the IDs. And moreover, I have my, uh, I have my um, relations here. Right. I think it has gone back. Let me, yes, uh, that's, that's the relationship I've done so far. Justice, I, I hope you can yeah, see. So can I take a screenshot of your relationship? Um, I just oh, want you to can. learn from there. Okay, so um, please, um, the, the person who came before you too, I just took a screenshot of, uh, screenshot of it. I just want to learn more from the relationship. So. If I'm permitted, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Yeah, so I think I'm okay. You yeah, thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Too. That's a nice work and a good job done. Thank you. 
Okay, the next person, or any question, anybody with a question? Okay, so we'll stop sharing your screen. Okay, sir, thank you. The next person. <laughs> the next person is Pusidria Samuel. Yes, sir, I'm, I'm sharing it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Please, can you all see from my screen? Yeah. Hello? Yes. Wow. Huge uh, relationship. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm used to like coding the both the interface and the and the database and the back end, but I'm not used to using the assets. So this what uh from my understanding I, I was able to develop. So I started from uh, the screws. So you can see from here that. We have the screws, you know, screws, and you have the row and the screw and the ID. So for the screws, it's like I have seven screws here with a unique ID for them. I just generated the IDs for them. And from the screws to I created a table for each screw. So for a uh, school of natural science, is here, which is the, I sh I've shortened it to be S-O-N-R, which is the School of Natural Science. And within that entity, I have the department. So under the School of Natural Science, you have this department. Also for School of Sciences too, I have also this as its department. Uh, School of Management, and, and law. I have also this. So for each school, I have department under each school. Afterwards, I created each department. So for example, maybe a department of renewable energy, we have these programs under the department. So afterwards, I created a, a tape some tables that will help me to link both the schools and the department, which is all schools and, and the department. So we have the department ID, the department and the school. So this is to help me pass this school ID here, the field here is to help me to uh, create a link between this table and the uh, UNES schools. And also, the department ID here also will help me to create a link between this and the various departments, departmental tables that I've already created. Also, I have a general table for all programs or IDs. For that table, I have ID. Of which this ID here will help me to specify uh, to create a unique key for each program. So, for instance, this year means uh, for uh, agribusiness level 100 semester one, which will help me to, to connect to all courses. So, for all courses this year, I wanted to list all the courses for the program and then link them with uh, all program ID, of which I even started with this. And also, lastly, I create different entity for books. So the books table to it contains the book ID, the title, the author, edition, ISD, and the publisher, and origin of publish and the publisher. So that's what is being seen here. The relationship, the relationship, the mother table, let's see, yeah, which is the UNESCO. Uh, we have the sub schools being linked to the mother table. And this, all schools, all departments here is 
to help me to link the mother table here, which is the unit to uh, every department. And also for the department to I uh, wanted, yeah, I wanted to also connect all the all programs IDs to the uh, department and afterwards and create the link between the programs and the courses and link them to the books. Mm. So that's what I've, uh, I've been able mm. to do so far. So, okay, thank you. Uh, I'm also impressed about your logic and your approach. Uh, any person with any comment or question? Doc. Oh. Doc. Yes, please. Please, uh, I want to ask um, if um, Mr. Kusi's um, uh, relationship, um, he Hello. ensured that referential integrity yeah. is observed. Because from mm -hmm. what I picture, there could mm -hmm. be uh, data redundancy. So Hello. I want to find out if um, he ensured the financial integrity. Yeah, Mr. Tuzi, respond to the yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, it's true. No, I mean, it's true. I mean, it's true. I mean, it's true. I mean, it's true. It's the, the, the constraints, like update cascade and delete cascade. But I tried. For the coding, I'm able to do that for the Creating this differently, I tried and since I was having some slight problem with some tables, so I'm um, one up to see the, the problem. So from uh, I have a table here where they uh, yeah aha uh -huh. so they they can here uh -huh. uh -huh. so, I was wearing it. Where did you put it? Because you are running from outside. Then we'll be outside. Okay. Someone's wife is disturbing. Let's use the standard. Because this thing has a little bit data. It seems when I try to create that constraint, uh, I, I often get some error messages. So I'm trying to solve that problem. And thank you for the question, too. I'm not okay. Um, hello, doctor. Yes, please. Please, please, justice. I want to help. I want to come. Uh, Mr. Kusibia, please, yeah. um, per what Godfrey said or suggested, and looking at your relationship, I will just um, give a candid advice for you to look at it again, because I can see that differential integrity has not been, um, it has not been done. So when you are creating your query for such reasons, it will give you challenges for the queries will not be accepted. So you need to reconsider them. So how you can know that um, it has been accepted when you check from one table to the other, you will see the one to many symbol. So from here, let's say from the Brunel schools to school of sciences, you will see a symbol here, like an, it is called ampersand sign or eight which has been 10. So it is telling you that it has been, um, the differential integrity has been done, which also checks that it will be able to help you to create um, queries. So you need to check that one. Either than that, when creating queries, um, you will find it difficult. But I appreciate your effort because this one is a um, transfer of idea from different um application background to here so it, we are we've also learned something new from you and thank you very much All right okay any comment or question mr Kusidia, thank you very much kindly stop uh, sharing the screen so that the next person will also take over uh jonathan do Kurugu. Is that Jonathan? Yes. Okay, we are waiting for your presentation. Okay. Yeah, so 
Um, basically, what I've done so far is um, I've created the necessary tables from the schools for departments and pro um, programs. And um, tables I'm here to create for are for the courses and then the books. Um, I've not also inputted the data for all the tables yet, so I will show what I've done so far. So what I did was to, to create a, a database structure that tries to mirror the structure of the, of the school system. So like we have the, the school, then we have the, the virus, uh, the university, then we have the schools under it. Then we have the departments and the program. So I tried to create a similar structure. So first I have a table for schools. Um, I just renamed the, uh, what do you call it? The primary key, which is the auto-generated key as the school ID. Then I created another column for names. Um, so I have a table for school, uh, schools, which contains the list of all the schools that we have. Then from there, I created um, a table for each of the schools. So um, I have a school here which is now going to contain the list of the departments um, within it. Then from there, I have, a, um, I created a table for each of the programs, uh, for each of the departments, sorry. So each department within the particular uh, school will, will contain the programs. So this table for which represent the department for, for each of the departments will contain the list of the programs. Um, I think so far, that is what I've been able to do. Um, I started, uh, I was getting a bit confused with the, the issue of the linking and other things. So I, I decided to start populating some of the tables to see how the data appears with the linking. Um, that is what I was working on. But uh, with what I've looked at so far with what some other people have presented, I've gotten an idea about how to use the um, primary and secondary keys to do the linking. So going forward, um, that knowledge would help me to, to see how I develop the relationship for what I'll do so far. And the other thing that I've also realized is um, I will not start over from from here, but with what I've also learned, I'll be able to simplify the process of the table structure and for the rest of the table structure that I still need to do. Um, so basically, uh, this is how far I've come. The, the remainder is to develop the, the tables for courses and the books, and then also create the relationships between the tables. Okay, thank you very much for Thank you. For the effort. Anybody with question or suggestion for him? Okay. Uh, the next person. So Mr. Jonathan, stop. Uh, can you kindly stop sharing the screen? Okay, Emmanuel Bonankai. Yes, please. Sir. Okay. I don't know. Can you see? Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. In fact, I was in Italy, I was having some challenges looking for the courses and the colleague advised me to do general search, which I did, and I was able to come up with something for now. I have uh, um, I have four different go there. You get the list for all the schools. I have seven different schools and technology and all those to um, the seventh school. Then I have another table for department these are the department in fact i use the uh, school id for the uh, voro department so i'm here to link them but these are the department i have 
gotten for the various for the several schools so far. So these are the department I'm using. I'm going to use these numbers. For instance, uh, number one, school ID one is ID two, ID three, in that order. So these are the department for the various um, schools, the seven different schools. From there, I have the um, some courses. In fact, the courses, that's where I have the problem. Until over yesterday, a colleague advised me to do general search. So I have some of the courses, but the courses are not, um, in fact, I've not done that much. I didn't get most of the courses, which I'm yet to do and add. Then I have the, I created a table for the books. But like I said, I have, they have the column headings, but I'm yet to add the um, book title, add the publishers and all those um, details for uh, maybe our next presentation. So far, these are what I have. I have the courses here. I'm here to add more courses there. I have department for the seven different schools. Department are up. I have all the department here. Then these are the programs that I have. The duration. I'm here to link up with the department ID. Then I have the school down here. So that uh, this is what I'm being able to do for now. Okay. Appreciate it, but please, you need to put in more effort. Thank you, sir. Okay. The next person. Boran, can I stop sharing your screen? Hello, dog. Yeah. I just wanted to find, I've seen that um, Emmanuel has a school of graduate studies. Yeah. And I was wondering, I thought we have a graduate studies and under graduate studies also have schools under the graduate studies, but he has mentioned graduate studies as a school. We don't have schools under graduate studies. We have department that run programs under graduate studies. Yes. But we, uh, yes. So we have the, so uh, when you go to uh, graduate studies, we have other departments uh, and are it. But he has mentioned graduate studies as a school. Yeah, graduate studies, you know, graduate studies is a school. But not all departments have programs under graduate studies. But when you go to graduate studies, you cannot get department under graduate studies. Graduate studies just yes. programs. Yeah, under the graduate studies, we don't have any department under that school. That is maybe his approach, but you can't have school under school. So, uh, uh, Doc. Yes, please. So when, when you go to uh, this in the graduate studies, you see we have, we have various schools to undergraduate studies. We don't have various, we don't have schools under graduate studies. We only have programs, but we don't have schools. Department under schools run programs with graduate studies. For example, our department, computer science, belongs to the School of Sciences. But the program we run is undergraduate study because it's a postgraduate program. Uh, that, that is what I am a bit confused about. But when you go there, you see that we have a, a School of Sciences under the postgraduate studies. We have School of Sciences. And under that, we have departments under it. That is uh, what I'm confused is, about. You said postgraduate studies. But why yes. you bring schools? You can't name, or you can't bring a school under another school. Th that is why I was thinking that. Uh, see, when you look at all the um, schools that we have listed here, School of Sciences and all that, when you go to a postgraduate studies, you have the same schools who under the postgraduate studies too. So postgraduate studies is not a school. Yes, it's not a school, so, but he has listed it here as school of graduate studies. It is a school. What do you say postgraduate a postgraduate. <laughs> if it's a postgraduate, once you mention postgraduate studies, you, you, you are, it's a postgraduate study, but once you bring school, you can't bring another school under school of postgraduate studies. Uh, so what I'm confused about is our dog. When you go to the graduate studies, we still have all these uh, schools from one to six 
under the postgraduate studies. We have when you go to progress, we have school of sciences, school of oh, natural listen, resources, listen, listen. all under postgraduate studies. Listen, the issue is once you bring school, uh, once you bring school, you can't bring another school under it. But when you mention postgraduate studies, we have school that runs postgraduate programs or postgraduate, uh, 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 yeah, that run postgraduate programs. So I don't think okay. there is there is a postgraduate, there is school of postgraduates there. Then you also see postgraduate uh, uh, other schools and I. It is postgraduate yeah. studies, and there are schools that run postgraduate programs. Good. Okay. Yeah, so if yeah. I will come in, if I should come in for clarification, then I think uh -huh. um the department being under the schools will be an intersection between the school and the graduate studies. For instance, when you take computer science, so computer that, is, science that, is the, that is the logic. That is the logic about the whole project. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. Because, for example, you realize that when you go to school of graduate studies, and uh, when you want to list some of the programs run by school of graduate studies, you will see that computer science was a, a PhD computer science or MSc computer science who still can be found in the school of science. But when you come to school of graduate studies, under the programs, you still find it there. These are some of the things that uh, will come up whenever you are developing any system. And you as a programmer or as a developer, you have to find ways and means to deal with such situations. As you will not have links. You will not have relationship. But you can with, with database management system, we also we always want to make uh, uh, do away with data redundancy. So you can't have it here and have it here. So these are some of the issues that I, I'm expecting you to be dealing with, the logic aspect of the whole thing. Thank you very much. The next person. Uh, Salom. Salom. Salam. Salam. Yes, Doc. Yes, Doc. I can hear you. Doc. Uh -huh. Start your <laughs> with us and start your presentation. All right, Doc. Uh, Doc, I wanted to add to what my friend, the, the answers you give to my friend who asked about uh, schools running under schools that, as a matter of fact, I'm sure the departments run uh, postgraduate programs on behalf of the graduate school. That's what I wanted to, to say. Okay. And so if it is mathematics, uh, mathematics department can do MPhil, MSc, uh, the department can do so on behalf of the school of graduate studies. I, I uh, also do a bit of uh, scripting work when it comes to um, database development. And I want to say that I started my work having understood the question uh, that every uh, university or our university unit is having um, schools. And the various schools have under them, various schools have um, under them uh, departments. And so um, in my design view, I actually uh, designed my field name to, to adjust in this ID to UNESCO school ID. And I made it auto so that the system would generate it for me. Then the school name, then the number of departments, 
and then also I give department uh, ID so that uh, this department ID is going to be the primary key here, but it is going to be a foreign key uh, in the department table so that I can do my relationship. I can link uh, the departments to the schools. And so I also have departments table. And with that, uh, um, I have the various departments also indexed with their IDs, their name, the number of programs they run, and so on. Then all the departments, I've listed them. You know, some of the departments are conjoined, as in when you take, for example, a Department of Computer Science works together with informatics. And so uh, I was able to do that. Then also all the various uh, departments as well. Then later, uh, I was able to get the courses that are run by the various departments, courses, um, yes. And so I, I, I singled out one particular course and I came out with books for, for it. And so with that one, the references, I have a references table, references table. Yes, yeah, so the references table, I gave a book ID, book name, course ID, uh, book title, then and so on to the ISBN number. So doc, in a nutshell, this is what I've been able to do. Okay. Yes. But you have a, yes. you still have a lot of work to do. Okay, doc. Yes. Okay. That's Any correct. question or co contribution comment? Any comment? Um, okay. Doctor. Yes, please. please. Justice. Okay. Mostly, I am in, much interested in the relationship because when yeah, creating a relationship. Yeah, when creating queries, um, it is the relationship connections that helps you or enables you to have a successful relationship. So um I will ask my, my fellow friend to reconsider um his relationship because the integrity has not been created and for such matter whenever you are okay it, it is to us all whenever you are creating the relationship we need to ensure the the, uh, the integrity of it so especially checking from one to many when you do it one to many it helps to assess the entire table so that um, when we are running the query for future sake, it will also help us. So there is um, something that I want to put across. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. The next person is Augustine Chireme. Is Augustine Chireme online? Mr. Augustine Chireme, are you online? Mr. Augustine Chireme. Okay. Uh, Salam, stop, stop sharing the screen. Okay, Doc. The next person after Chireme is Fojo Andrews. Fodjo Andrews. Fodjo Andrews. Fodjo Andrews. Uh 
Hello. Fajo Andrews. Tachi Ebeneza. Sir. Hello, Dr. Tachi, present for us. Okay, Dr. I'm sharing this. Uh, this are uh, my. Uh, some of the relationship I want to start from before I go to how I created the tables for easier understanding. I hope you can see my screen. Yeah, we can see your screen. Yeah, I did something here and I want to start explaining from this side. I'm, start uh, I'm starting from back to front so that the explanation will be easier as well as the understanding. You come here and choose from there. Here, I'm using this, uh, the table schools. If you click on School of Science, you can have some uh, schools. If you, choose, if you choose the schools table, you can have some schools within the schools table. So if you click here, you can have, you can see that you have a uh, School of Science as one of the schools in the school table. On the School of Science, we are having Department of Computers and Informatics, Department of Chemical Sciences, Department of Basic and Applied Biology, Department of Mathematics and Statistics. I've not finished entering my data, so I'm only going to the side that I have data. So let's choose that of Department of Computer Science and Informatics. When you click that one, you have that, you see that we have MSc Computer Science, BSc Computer Science, BSc Information Technology and other courses run by the same uh, department. And then under that department, I have some reading material that I can also demonstrate for computer science, BSc Computer Science. So if I click on that, just open another link. All, the, all these links opening are other tables that I have created relationship in between them. So when it comes to BSc Computer Science, the study duration is from level 100 to 400, which stands for four years. And we have one uh, reading course. That's a course code for that reading program. Uh, that course code for that uh, reading material is Com 101, and the name of that material is Introduction to Programming. <clears throat> okay, so now I would like to show you the relationship, how I did it. But before that, let me take you to this side. Uh, when it comes to the department table, I, I use a property you call a uh, Lisa uh, search wizard or something like that. So that, that will allow me to pull all the schools I have in the schools table into the department table without tapping them again. So immediately I click on this combo box, all the schools will appear. Assuming that I'm entering new uh, department, let me say department A, B, C. Immediately I come here. You are seeing all this error uh, message because I made a school name required. You cannot enter a department without a school name. So you must by all means choose. So when you come here, let me, let's assume that uh, Department ABC in the School of Natural Resources or School of Management Sciences and Law. They may choose it. You can easily, there's no need of typing it again. And when it comes to courses, I have only one course being inside. The course code is 
from 101, which I illustrated earlier. And then we have the course name, the program that is doing that course, and then the reading material. The course name is Introduction to Programming. The reading material is a complete guide to something, something. And then we have which semester are we doing that uh, this time? Which semester are we doing that course? That will tell you that we are doing that one in semester one, which year or which level are we doing that this time? We have that one here. These are in the courses table. And then we can also go to reading material table. When you come to the reading material, we have one reading material, which I used to reference to that course that I, I just explained. And the title of that reading material is a complete guide to programming in C++. The first name of the author is there, second name is there, publisher, then country name, and then some of them are, now here I use my primary key to be the ISBN, the International Center Book Number. And these are the relationship I established among them. These are the relationships. So some are hidden, so unless I show all. So these are my relationship. Doc, I think so far this, how far I've reached. It's only left with entering the data. Thank you very much. Are you for you? Are you okay with your relationship? What you have done? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay with the relationship. Are you sure you're not going to have issues when we start querying the system? I'm not going to have. I know why you're asking that because you don't know whether it's many to many or one to many. But in the table design, I've identified some food to be unique, which will not allow you to enter duplicate values. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Any question or comment or suggestion for him? Hello, Doc. Yes, please. I think I'm definitely there is still going to be data redundancy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it doesn't matter whether every table has a primary key or not. For instance, um, uh, I think I'm in, uh, was it in the programs? Something I think it's in the course material. Uh, can you please click on your reading material and that of uh huh? So over here, um, did you type the title here? That is um, the book. Did you type it uh, a complete guide to C plus uh, complete guide to programming in C plus plus? I guess you typed it right. Yes. Uh -huh. And at the same time, it's also in the courses. Cool. Courses I didn't type. I referenced it from that place. To so if as well. Mm -hmm. That's why I said I use the look uh, wizard lookup. So, so that's... can you click on it and let's see? Yes, I can do that. I, I just want to know um, if that is done. Then I can, I can simply. So do you that. click click on the. Course. Let, let me go to the design to say that. Uh, when you come here and you come to the uh, reading material. I know you I, made I, it lookup look, wizard. Look up wizard. So but yeah. that one would have given you a combo box when you click in it over there. So yeah, once that is, is there, not there, is there like that? That is why I said you should click on it and let's see okay. in the courses. You see, but okay. I have I have only one no, reading material. Good. That's why. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, then I think I'm. It's okay. Okay. Please, any other question or suggestion? But I think okay. still, with respect to your relationship, you need to ensure that, uh, you need to check referential integrity. Even though you have used the lookup wizard, it is not cutting across all the tables in the database. And so that is why you need to check referential integrity in case there is going to be- Referential and update cascade and delete cascade, all those things are done, okay. but you cannot see it here unless I'm okay. implementing it for you to see. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Tachi for your presentation. Thank you. Uh, stop sharing the screen so that the next person can take over.
Someone yante chi. Okay, Sammy is not online. Uh, George Ananfen. Dialogue. Okay. Wake up Take over. Okay, not that you. Not that you. Not that you. I boy. Uh, do you hear him? Yeah, Doc, I can hear him. He's still sharing his screen. Uh, do you hear him? <laughs> yes, Doc. No. 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 Bami, I can't hear him. I can't I can hear, hear him talking at the background. Well. He... We can hear him talking at the background, but not yeah. as if he's explaining uh, his work. Mm. Nyantachi. <laughs> Nantachi Finn Finn take over. Okay, this is uh, what I've been able to do so far. Uh, I have uh, my uh, schools over here. And then uh, that, that was the reason why I was, I was currently, we've ca categorized everything under, under graduate studies and postgraduate studies, and then we have the various schools under the two uh, studies. That's why I was a bit confused. I was, I was. Uh, oh no, asking. no, no. It's, it's, it's in order. Well accepted. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. So I have. Uh, I, I started with the undergraduate, and I'll be building upon it. So I have uh, my six schools here, and then uh, maybe if I should start with the relationships, I have my schools over here. And I was using the concept of uh, an object or a table has another uh, reference to another table. So here, uh, schools have departments, and then departments uh, run programs, and then the programs have courses based on uh, semesters. And then the courses certainly, as our target is, is the books that is required for uh, this, and as you study a course, the books are required to read to be able to understand the course you are taking. So this is a relationship I have for now. So when, when I go into the schools, I have these schools over here. And then when we take our school, for instance, we have these uh, schools under them. And then we have uh, these departments. That is just, this is just the undergraduate. I haven't added the postgraduate yet. So this is what we have uh, over here and the same for uh, the rest of the schools. And then when you go to the uh, departments, we have Department of Computer Science and Informatics and we have uh, this four 
programs that are running under uh, that department. And then when we take our uh, department, for instance, you have the various uh, programs that are being run under it. And then you come to the programs, and these are the programs, all the programs we have currently uh, running. And then when you go to a particular a program, you have the various courses that are running, you see the level, and then you see the semester, plus semester one or semester two, and in that order. And when you go to the courses, you see the various courses that are run. For instance, this one, aquaculture production and management, this is a level one course run in semester one. And I've referenced it to a program ID 001 which will link you to the particular program that is running this uh, particular course, which when you expand, uh, you see it. And then when you come here, now we have the, 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 the various books. I've listed uh, uh, as required for this project, five books per course. So I have these various books that are required for uh, this course, Aquaculture Production and Management. We have these book titles and we have the authors over here. We have the editions and then the year of publications, the uh, publication house, and then the ISDN uh, in that order. So I just try to run a sample query over here to get a list of books for this particular program. And then it came out right. I listed five books for uh, that program. And then these are the books it came up with. But I'm here to continue adding the various books for at least five books for each uh, course, which that's what I'm currently uh, doing. Please demonstrate your query and, and let uh, uh, for all of us to see. Uh, this is the SQL view. Mm -hmm. And this is a, the, the, the statement. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm querying based on this particular where the uh, course name is. Uh, why, are you, why are you using SQL? Uh, like it's a view, like I'm not using, uh, actually uh, the design view is here. Mm -hmm. This is a design view, uh, but when you go to the, the SQL view, I'm, I'm actually- Don't uh, take us SQL. to SQL. Okay, this is a, okay, this is a design view. So this is a design view, you, you, you select the various fields you want over here. Do it and let's see. Uh, you just, when, you, when you click on this uh, drop down button, you will see the fields over here. So whichever field you want to be the first field you choose. And when you come to the second field, whichever one uh, you want, you choose. So just choose the various fields. Do this one for That's me. If... Do this one for me. Let me see a list of courses, uh, books. Do you have books for computer science? No, I just did for uh, uh, this, uh, I think, um, I agree, just one, uh, the same program. Oh, okay. I've, I've done just for one program for now. Uh, okay. One course so for go now. Back, uh, go, course then go, to, go, to, go to the program, go to the agreg. Query the books, uh, query and let me see the books that level 100 students will be using. Level 100. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, I didn't, I didn't actually break it down to, okay, like, like level 100, okay, I can have, I didn't break it to semesters, but for level 100, I, I can get it. Let me see. Oh, did I do that? No, I think I just did it per, currently. It's just uh, per the course. I, I've not broken down to level yet. So you don't have it? I don't have level yet. I, I just did it per course. But it's, per, it's, it's part of the assignment? Yes, please. I, I'm, I'm uh, building on it. OK, thank you. Any question for him? Um, hello, George. Class captain. Yeah, George. 
I can see from your table paste errors. So I want to know um, what it can do. Maybe <laughs> when the table is being rejected, it will send something there. So I want to learn something from there. No, initial, I was right. I, I actually exported from uh, this uh, uh, SQL database to Excel. And I was pasting the uh, instead of typing one by one, I was actually just pasting straight away. And initially, I had this uh, error which I resolved, but it has turned out to be, I don't know, a table, table which I, when I try deleting, it doesn't allow me, which I don't know why. I've tried deleting it several times. I don't know why. Right, George, George. Doc. So you did your work in SQL and you are come, you are bringing it back to access. So I generated uh, um, various, you know, I'm, I'm Hello. Okay, I think I've, I've seen why it says it's, it's open. Yeah. Class captain. Yes, please. I, I hope it's not okay. Yeah, okay. I, I thought maybe it was a program that when a query brings an error, it is being thrown into that table. That's why I wanted to know. So uh, yeah, because been, of the uh, importation error, that, that's why yeah, that, I've that's understood you. I've understood mm -hmm. you. So my question was, I thought it is a special program that when you are running a query and there's an error, it throws into that. Because I know of some systems that they have error table. So when you mm. try to run a, or a, compile a program and there is an error, it throw the error into that table. So I thought it was that, and I wanted to learn something from there. So um, clarification has been done, and thank you very much. Bye. Yeah, thank you, too. George. Doc. Me, my problem is why do you have to do it in SQL and bring it back to us? Because, uh, that, um, that, that you see, actually, the information I want, I already I have it in access already. So I just like wanted to just export straight into the access uh, this uh, table. But I already have the information in access uh, X, uh, SQL. So have you started using SQL? Yes, but that's uh, actually what I use. No, don't confuse your colleagues. Eh? Let's all finish with the assets and we move on to the SQL. Okay, Doc. Thank you. The Thank next you. person. The next person can share his screen. George, stop sharing your screen. Okay, Doc. Victor Joe? Yes, sir. It's your turn. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes. Yeah, please. Can you see the screen, my screen? Right no. now. Okay. But I've, I've shared the screen. I don't know actually what is happening. I've sh Hello, sir. Yes. 
Please now, is, is that okay? Yeah, you are not sharing. It will come. Okay. Thank you very much. Once again, Doc and my colleagues, good evening. Are you also Chinyamanfu? Yes, sir. Is that your name? Uh, the device, uh, the, no, that's the, com the computer that I'm using. That's the device name. That is used in logging in for the, uh, the Zoom. Are you a staff? So that's the name. It, yes, sir. Oh, OK. Uh, so what is your colleague, uh, Treme? Treme, Treme, right now he's not with me. Uh, he's part of the program. He's supposed to be uh, present. I've not heard uh, from him. That's what I learned. I learned he was having a problem. So he earlier made, uh, I think, uh, he, he sought a permission. Actually, I, that was what he discussed with me, but I don't know whether that one went through with you. OK, no problem. You you talk. Let's uh, carry okay. on. OK, OK, sir. Uh, this is the uh, the database uh, for managing a library in UNEL. And these are the tables I have created. So far, these are the works I've done. Uh, I have created a, a tables for the book. My device ran very slow, so please you be with me. So far, I've created a the table books, I have the, uh, the ISBN as the, uh, the primary key. I have the title of the book. I have the first name of the author, the second name, the publishing house, the country of origin, uh, publication editions, and that of the year. I have them here. I also have the courses which are run in the school have populated the courses some are put i populated some of the courses i am still on it and that of the reading material and the department to i've also created uh, I've populated some of the departments. Uh, and when it comes to the programs that are run in the university too, I've also populated some of the programs. And the Table for the authors. I have not entered the semesters. And when it comes to the schools, uh, the schools in the university too, I've also uh, populated the uh, schools here. Uh, I have the School of Sciences, Engineering, Nat uh, Natural Resources, Agri Agriculture and Technology, Law and Management, and Geosciences. These are the schools in the universities. And I've given them a special uh, uh, I've, I've given them IDs that's become the primary key the school ID. And I, I have done some linkage, some of them. Uh, that of the school. I've done some linkages when you click on the school. I think you can see the other department that will be uh, will be displayed and the number of programs that have been run by that uh, school. And uh, when we come to, I think that the programs too, there are also linkage here. So when you click on the school, I, when you click on the program, you'll be able to see uh, the programs that are being run by that, uh, that department. You see them over here. And uh, when you talk of the booths, as for the booths, I've operated them, but I've not linked them. 
So uh, that's what I've done up to this stage. So far, that's what I've been able to do. And I'm still on it. Well appreciated, but still, you have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. Mm, you have a lot of work to do. You know, this access thing was not originally part of the course outline. I just wanted to know your level of uh, your your uh, your database level, and as you can see, some of you still have issues with access. So, I just want us. Okay. I don't want us to spend a lot of time on access. So please, those who are okay. those who are still lacking behind, please, you have to work on it. In fact, after the presentation for the day, I will give my Thank general you. comment, which will include some of these things. Any question or suggestion for Mr. Yeah. Joe. Any suggestion for Mr. Joe? Okay, Mr. Joe, thank you very much. You can stop sharing. Okay, thank you, sir. The next person is who? Hello, Doc. Are you the next person? Yes, Doc. I'm Jima Kopri. Okay. I don't know if my screen can be seen. Yeah. The various schools in the university. So under the schools, you have School of Sciences, School of Natural Resources and the rest. So under every school too, since we are having departments, I started populating the departments. So under, <laughs> under School of Sciences, I have computer science and informatics. <laughs> The rest. So at the end of the day, I by to be for so in all I was having about 26 departments, but I'm still on it to populate it to get there right number. Now, when we come to the programs, the programs too, we have the program name, then we have a program ID, program duration, because when you take it, the diploma, uh, BSc, PhD, and MSc, they are not having the same number of years, so I've identified that one too. Then after that, I use department ID and school ID here as foreign keys so that at the end of the day, I can link this table to those kind of uh, tables. That is the table of department and the schools. So in all two, I was still populating it and I was able to have about 47 uh, programs. But then there are some of the schools that when you get there or some of the department, when you want the programs, when you click on the link over there, the schools do not, uh, the department, the programs over there do not uh, appear. That is on the UNER website. <laughs> so, then after that too, we are having courses. So I tried populating the courses too, and every course should go with a level. It should go with a semester. But then since I want to link it to the program and uh, department as well as schools, that's why I've created these IDs here. So with the little knowledge I have in uh, the linking and the relationship, at the end of the day, I can link it so that I'll reduce uh, what is called a redundancy. So in here, some of the courses that I was able to deal with were algebra, uh, basic uh, mechanics. So when we go to, uh, please let me do this. Okay, let me give the number before. So at the end of the day, I was able to have about 89 courses over here, but I was able to populate some books too for 
each course that we have over here, but not all. So when we go to the book table two, when we take something like the algebra, which we had from the course table, for the books, I was able to have uh, five for the few ones that I was able to deal with. And every book is having a book ID, book title, the first author, because some of them have uh, multiple authors, but I was trying to pick only from one to two authors. So I have name of the publication uh, house, then the country that did the publication, then we have the year two of uh, publication. Now, when we come to the far right, I brought a uh, ISBN number, but then uh, I was able to see that as I was entering those numbers, there was something I realized that it was not in the, the same format, especially the hyphenation. So I tried to pause that side before so that I will see where the problem is from before I continue. You have so, to make the test. All right. All right. So at the end of the day, this is what I was. For this, for now. Thank you, sir. OK, thank you very much. But my problem is you you have combined the authors, their names. Why have you combined the first and the second name? The first author, second author. No, when you pick each author, I don't want yes. you to combine their names. All right, then I'll do that correction, though. OK, so each author. Let me see a, a, a column for the first name and a column for the second name. If the name right, is then you make it other. All right. There is a reason Thank you. for that. OK, anybody with a okay. question or comment? Yeah, so, um, Doctor, please, I want to make some um, recommendations. OK, Jima, thank you very much. Your work is so much impressive. But do you know why um, your ISB and was not following because when you take a book, the ISBN we have two formats. We have the ten digit and the twelve digit. You can shift to the book, so I will show you something. Oh, so yes, I'm there. Yeah, you see, we have the twelve, dig um, the thirteen digit and the ten digit. The thirteen okay. digit starts with the nine seven eight. Most that's where it starts from, and that one comes with a hyphenation, and the twelve, um, the ten digit mostly doesn't come with a hyphenation. So that's where they couldn't follow. So next time, I think we, we should learn from here and uh, we'll also take that. Thank you. Welcome. Hello, hello, Doc. Yes, please. Doc, please, I wanted to ask this question earlier, but uh, you brought it, but uh, I need some more insight on it. The first author, uh, in fact, the author names is first name and second name. If, if the names are three, so, you, you have a column for other. Other, yes. Okay, sir. So uh, if if there are two, only the first name column, and how do you do you pick your first names and say maybe uh, Lambert and who's best? No, 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 no. If the others are two, so you, you have to get the, all their names, even if they are more than two. Okay. And link it to a particular book. So, so and the first name, dog. This is what I want to know. And the first name, mm -hmm. do, do you have to bring their names, their first names? No, and, yes, and their first name. Because in this case, you, with respect to that particular book, the author, the mm -hmm. authors uh, 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 are more than one. Yes. So you you, you record all their first names. And they are certainly okay. so under each book, with respect to that particular book, you are going to get more than two authors. Okay, so all their first names should come on in, in, inside one field. No, 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 no. The question that you are asking me, you want me to do your work for you. <laughs> no, I was having a challenge That's with it, that is why. All, all that I want you to do for me is that when the authors are more than one, record all of them. So go and do research okay, about how you can do it. Do it. OK, sir. All right. Okay, Thank sir. you. 
thank you very much, Mr. Juma. Thank you, Doc. So the next person. The next person is a, a Japan Isaac. A Japan Isaac. <clears throat> Is the Japan Isaac with us? A Japan Isaac, yes, you are not I, talking. I think his screen has been shared. But he's not talking. Shared. Then he's having challenges. Maybe. Hello. Yeah, Japan. Yeah, Doc. Yeah, it's a Good evening. Okay, um, Doc, this is a little I have been able to do through my little research. I've created this tables, book, course, department level program up to semester. So, what I did is that um, I brought a relationship here. I saw that each school has departments and the departments run programs. Then the programs are into levels and semesters. So if you are doing a program like computer science, maybe BSc computer science, level 100 will determine and the semester will determine which course you are going to read for that particular semester. So and the schools, I have these six schools from the website of UNE. And um, Compute School of Sciences, I have these departments, Computer Science and Informatics, Chemical Sciences, Mathematics and Statistics, and then Basic and Applied Biology. Then under School of Natural Resources, I have this also here. So now when you take a department the department will have an id a name and it belongs to a school so the school id will be here and um, under each department there are courses so the department like computer science and informatics run these courses bsc computer science bsc information technology diploma and then uh, MSc, MPhil, PhD, Computer Science. So these are the letter I have been able to do. The programs that are run under departments. So the department ID will, then you have um, the program in the department. So department ID 3 for Computer Science and Informatics, they run BSc compute the department ID is here. Sorry, this is the program ID and this is the department ID. So the department ID is two, which is computer science and informatics, and these are the courses they run. So anywhere you see two here, it means it belongs to one department. Department eight runs this program, only one was available on the website then uh, I think that is all I have been able to do doc I'm now here to populate this table the courses for each semester and then um, the levels have not worked on the levels have not also worked on the semesters so, Doc, if I there is any... I have a lot of work to do, pal. I, I, I see, Doc. Okay. I, I appreciate it, at least. You, you, you've made an effort. At least you are learning. Even if you don't know anything, once you have done some of these things, yeah. you, you, it means you are learning. That is why you are here. Did you do any... Uh, uh, okay. uh, or did you establish any relationship? Did you try something of that sort? Yes, Doc. Let's see. Uh, okay. 
Yes. Okay. Small, yeah. small, you will get it. Thank you, Doc. Okay, thank you. Any suggestion, question, or comment about this presentation? Okay, thank you. The next person we take over. Jay Anthony. Doc, please, he, he, has, he, he was a person who presented TED. Ajay he Anthony. Presented. Yes, his name has appeared twice in the list. So. Okay, it's my Zakaria. Zakaria. <laughs> Zakaria. 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 Oh, so, I'm oh, sorry, dog. Uh, Mr. Amafo, your, your mic has been on for a long time, please. Zakaria. Okay. Uh, I inside in Kratek over. Isa Dinkra. Isa Mohammed Isa Dinkra. Hello. Hello. Okay, yeah, can we can see your screen now? Yeah. So I will be starting from my uh, relationship, but as the question said earlier. Uh, we are creating a library system for UNESCO. school. So I started by creating uh, the book table. So when you see here, we have a book table, wow. which has the book uh, ISBN number. And we uh, I've also created the author's table. So to get the authors of the book, I created a table for them, which has the uh, author name one, author name two, and then so on. And when we come to uh, book details, we have a ISBN number, which is a foreign key in the book detail. And we have book title there. We have a edition category and year of publication and then public publisher name and so on. And the country where the book where is published. So when we, since we are creating a library system, we should know where we can find these books. We should know where we can find these books. So I have the item uh, location here, which has uh, item ID, location ID, and then uh, item uh, ID. So when we come to location, here's the location. So the location ID is referencing to the item. And then we have the uh, rule. Normally, when you go to libraries, you they, they, they have rules and columns where you can locate a particular book. So I created that, and now uh, I created tables for the school. I hope you can see my screen, please. Oh, yeah, we can see it. Yeah. So I created uh, tables for the uh, school. So I have the school table, and I have the department table. And I also have the level table and I have a courses table. So as you can see, I have linked the courses and the book table. So if you pick a particular course, you'll be able to get the book from the library where you can read. So when I come here, here's the uh, table and the information I've entered so far. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to get all the information needed, but I've gotten something to show. So when we come here, this is uh, here's the school table, and when you click on let's say School of uh, Sciences, we have a, a Department of Computer Science, and when you click on Department of Computer Science, yeah, have level hundred. Assuming so, when you click on the level, course that you do. But 
to uh, make this thing clearer, let's come to department uh, table. So when we come here, here is computer science. And assuming we are in level 100 and we want to know the courses that we will do for the level 100. So when you click on it, you, you have database, we have networking, we have programming, and then, oh, unfortunately I've repeated some of the information. Sorry for that. So, so far, this is what I've been able to do. And here's my level table too. So we have the various levels uh, comprising uh, with the courses that we have. So that's what I've been able to do. Uh, with the books, with the books uh, table, unfortunately, I haven't been able to fill that part. So I'm still on it and I'm still gathering my books uh, to be filled on those areas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any question for him? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, carry on. Yeah. Uh, please, I don't know. He was, because the books fields are not inputted yet, I wanted to ask a question. He was making a beautiful sound. About yeah, you see, table. you see that for and him with the relationship, he has created a table for authors. Mm. Are you the one who asked that question? No. Why is the one who asked me that question previously? Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. So have you seen that a colleague is solving your problem for you? Exactly. That's mm -hmm. why I was going to add a top up question. Right? <laughs> uh -huh. So you, you have to you have to see him back door. Yes, sir. <laughs> mm. see him back door. Okay. Mm. See him back door. The name is Zakaria Isa, so you can see him back door. Yes, sir. No, sir, please it's Mohammed Isa. Mohammed Isa. There is no Zakaria. Yes. No. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Your the next question to take over. The next person, go for Kusi Fosu. Yes, Doc. Okay, it's your turn now. Uh, please, can you see my screen? You are, yeah, it's coming here. We can see it now. Okay. So I want to start um, from the, I want to start from the relationship. Now, um, it is known that in a database, um, uh, it's a collection of entities of the same kind. And we should also know in order to uh, prevent uh, data redundancy, we always want to make sure that there is the right entity relationship. So my um, relationship over here, I'm going to use that to explain the entity relationship between the various entities that I have. So as you can see here, I have my schools here. Now the schools table can have many, the school can have many, relation, uh, many departments. So one school can have many departments. And from the school, one department can have many programs over here. And we know that programs, one program can also have many courses. And then one course can also have many reading materials or books. And then on top here, you can see that a course can be run in a semester, a single semester and also in a year. So I have here one to many, that is one school have, having many departments, then within the department, a single department having many programs, and then a single program can run multiple, or can have multiple courses or many courses, and then a course can be run in a semester and also within a particular year, and then the course can also have many uh, books. So basically that is my relationship. So now let me take you through the entities that I have. I have um, seven entities, as you can see from the um, object uh, uh, 
uh, inter, uh, um, navigation pane. Now over here, I start with the schools. So over here, I have my schools table and from the site, the school is having, uh, uh, our university is having seven schools. So I have school of engineering, school of um, sciences, school of geosciences, school of agri agriculture and techno technology. I have school of natural resources, school of graduate studies, school of management sciences and law. Then also um, for every school, a school can have programs. So here are the programs which are being run by the various schools. So we can have, sorry, uh, departments which can uh, uh, every school can have. So we have Department of Computer Science, we have Department of Horticulture and Crop Sciences. Now over here, um, I have my department ID. I, I actually made them a string data type by using short tests. That is why you can see them because I'm not going to use them in any calculations. And for that matter, there is no need for me to indicate them as numbers. Then also I have here school ID. Now this school ID is also used as a foreign key for the um, uh, school's table, which was a primary school over a primary key over there. So over here, it is helping me to link the table schools and department. So the department two over here, when you go to the school, you see that it is school of sciences, which is having that uh, primary key two. And in the, in the department, it's appearing here. Likewise, the others that are following. And every department can also run programs. So from here, we can go to our programs table. So um, I think I had about um, 75 different programs, which is being run by the school. And I think I have them all here. So let's see, every program uh, uh, here can have multiple courses. And over here, when you look at this particular entity table, I have program ID, programs, and then I have program duration. So when you pick this program duration is either four years, um, two years or one year. So for example, BSc Agribusiness is a four year program. And then it is run by which department over here? The department is um, number 12. So it can be seen that number 12 is economics and agribusiness and extension. Okay, so um, that is that for this table. And as you can see, if it is the department is one, then it means it's being run by Department of Computer Science. All right, now from programs, programs are made up of courses. So over here, I have my course table. So I have my course ID, which I intentionally used our current uh, program, the courses within our current program. Uh, so we have COMP 701, which is comparative analysis of um, programming language. And it is in year one, semester one. Now over here, year one and semester one has been linked to the first, uh, the two tables, uh, semester and then year. So I will not enter them in order to repeat uh, to make data redundancy. So it's just um, uh, uh, a combo box or a drop down list. Then you can select over here. Likewise, the semester, I have two semesters. And then it is showing the program um, which is organizing or this, the program which is, which is running these courses. So the program is 271, which is computer science. And then which department? Oh, sorry, um, the program is MPhil because um, we, when you go to graduate school, graduate school is also running the uh, postgraduate programs. And so over here, when you go to programs, you can see that two seven, um, I think I'm um, two one seven is MPhil computer science. And that is why you can see it over there, that two one seven. So this indicate that this is uh, a postgraduate program and not an undergrad because I have distinct between undergrads and then postgraduate uh, programs. And then you can see which department is running that postgraduate program is computer science. Now, some uh, in some schools, um, which I will use our university, for example, I know that um, 
the math uh, uh, course that we are having currently, uh, um, operation, advanced operations research is taught by uh, Dr. Upuku. Mass course, but it's been taught by a mass, lect a mass lecturer. Okay. A okay. department lecturer can handle it. Okay, so I assume that suppose that um, the, we have a mass department which runs the course, then over here it's indicating where uh, which department is running that course. It means it's a borrowed course. So if it's a borrowed it, course, once you see is the coder water, it's not a name or the lecturer yes. in it. Yes, I, I just used, um, I was just citing that as an example because I don't have a uh, lecturer's name within this uh, program or within this table. But I was just using that, um, assuming Dr. Opoku is from Mars Department, it means that the program is for Mars Department and it is indicated here as two. When we go into our department, you will see that um, mathematics and statistics is um, number two over here. And coincidentally, it's also having school two, which is school of uh, sciences. Uh -huh. So that is why we have two over here. This two is indicating that the program is not being um, offered by computer science department, by mathematics department. So basically, um, this is based on the information that uh, Doc gave us. This is what I have been able to do. Thank you very much, Doc. Okay, thank you. Uh... Mr. Goffer, someone is asking you, okay. uh, Mr. Kusidua, he's saying that how are you going to extract a particular course, a program in a particular level? He's, that's his question. Uh, 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 now, currently, what we have here is just um, tables which are storing uh, data. And these data, we don't want them to be duplicated. That is why we have been able to um, link them. But in order to extract a course, then we will need to create a query or a query. But from the information Doug gave, um, Doug didn't ask us to create a query in order to extract or to fetch some information from this table. Because it is part, on that it is part, it is part of the whole work. But oh, okay. Doug, yes. Doug, um, Doug, the reason why I didn't add that is that day I asked if we can add forms and the rest. No, and no, said, no, no, the form, that is, I said it is part of the whole work, but we are okay. not there yet. Okay, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that is why I haven't added. So as yeah. and when Doc gives us the approval to add new uh, objects, then we can go by that. In fact, I'll give you the directions for, uh, for the rest of the work, don't worry. Thank okay. you, and uh, the next person will also take over. Thank you very much, Doc. The next person is George Obukwenchi. Is George with us? Yes, Doc. Please, I'm, I'm sharing my screen. I don't know if you can, you can yeah, see Yeah, I can my see screen. it. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Um, um, all, um, I'm George, and then this is how far have also gone um, from the school's website, um, and then from what Doug gave us, I identified these things, and then I uh, will identify these tables. And then the first table that I identified from the school website was um, I, I created a table for school, and I created a table for the various semesters, a table for program, for levels, for departments, for courses, and then for books. So for the Table of um, table showing schools. These are the schools that are identified. That is School of Sciences, School of Natural Resources, um, Agrican Technology, um, Engineering, Geosciences, Mass um, Management Science and Law, and then School of um, Graduate Studies. Then from there, um, from what Doug gave us from the schools, the schools moved down to the various departments. So when you move to the department, these are the departments that I identified. And then I used, um, in the design view, I used the um, school ID as my um, foreign key to this particular table, that's the department table. So these are the foreign keys that identifies the schools that this particular department belongs to. And then from here, um, we move on to 
um, from school, I move on to programs. Uh, each of the schools run programs. And then you can see the first um, program is VSC Computer Science. And then that one is identified with Department 1. Let me move your department. One is um, this, computer science and then informatics. Then from there, from the program, I also um, created one for levels, levels and then the semesters. So for the semesters, um, I, I gave um, primary keys as one and two, and then I named the semester, semester one and then semester two. And then all those belongs to, um, actually, I've only done for the, these programs, that's some um, five, program ID five. And then when you go to the program table, program ID five, that's for computer science. Actually, I've inputted the um, data or courses for um, these ones only. The one that you, um, the course that we are doing, the one that I've highlighted, actually, that's what I've been able to do, but with the other courses, I know in um, the ensuing um, days, I'll be able to finish. And then with, the, with my relationship, I also created um, a relationship for, for the information. And then with my relationship, the schools or the various schools relate to the department and then move on to the programs, to semesters, to levels, to courses and then the various groups. So if we take the schools um, table, when we expand, especially or with um, school, of science, uh, school of Sciences, we, uh, it has to, or it moves to the various departments under the School of Sciences. With the, when we expand also School of Computer Science, we will all see the various programs that are run under the School of, um, or the Department of Computer Science and Math under uh, BSc Computer Science. And you click there. Um, I only have done for MPhil. Okay, so under MPhil, we see um, we have two departments, um, two semesters. That's the first semester, and then the second semester. Under the semesters, and then we have the various levels. So, with, if as we are in level 100 for our course, these are the um, the courses we are doing, but not for some of them are not for they are various courses. So I'm here to do them, but then in level 100 for MPhil and then MSc, we are doing some of these courses. So, so far, this is um, where I've gotten to. And then um, in the ensuing years, I know the uh, ensuing days, maybe by tomorrow or by Monday, I'll, I'll finish with whatever I'm doing. Doc. Okay, thank you very much. Any question for him? Any suggestion or contribution? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, though. So the next person is... Uh... Nina Ampa Benin. Nina. Nina. Is Nina with us? Okay. Mr. Philemon Damba. Look. Okay, Nina is Look, not Mike is not ready yet. Yes, yeah, so we have to take over, please. Doc, mine is not ready yet. Your own two is not ready. Yes, Doc. Not at all, so you have not done anything. I've done something, but my phone is going off very soon. It will, it will cut. That's why I've been logging in and out. Oh, okay. Maybe we can make it another time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Imanra Zuri. Mr. Emmanuel Zuri. Mr. Emmanuel Zuri. Okay. Samuel Henichi. 
Samuel Ohenichi. Samuel Ohenichi. Okay. Kofi Kwaten. Kofi Kwaten. Uh, okay, so are you presenting? No, sir, please, sir, please, no. I, 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 had, I was having a network challenge, I'm back, and then. Uh, okay. Okay, so it seems we have exhausted the list for uh, those who are around. The rest, Mr. Kofi Kwaten, Samuel Hini Chase, Emmanuel Zuri, Mr. Damba Philemon, Nina Ampa Benin. Uh, this and other people did not present. Thank you very much, those who presented and those who didn't present, you are online and you didn't present, please. Uh, the deadline for this project, using access, is two weeks from now. So next week when we meet, because of the deadline, that is two weeks time, we will just, I will just do two hours discussion. Then the rest of the hours, I will leave it to you. So please, those who have issues, go and resolve it. And those who have not yet done a lot of, I mean, populated their system with data, please do that for me. Because I want us to finish and quickly do this assessment and continue with the SQL. So that whatever you are doing for access, when we move on to the SQL, the understanding will just be simple. Because once you understand the logic, we have to resolve all the necessary issues. When we start the SQL, you will not have issues because the SQL is just the syntax that we are going to change or we are going to have a new syntax. The logic and everything is going to be the same. So thank you very much. If you have any questions to ask me, you can ask. Else, we will close around the area close at this point, then God willing, we will meet next week. And next two weeks, you are presenting or you are uh, submitting the final work. And please, whatever you do on your own, make sure you do a video recording. Because at the end of the day, when you are submitting your work for final assessment, I want evidence to show that you did the work on your own. So whatever you do with respect to this particular work and any other subsequent practical work, make sure you do a video recording of yourself and also the project. At least a few minutes video recording. I'll ask you to share, put it on a, on a Google Drive and share the link with me so that I'll watch it. Mm -hmm. Any question? Okay, in fact, I recorded this discussion, I mean, this uh, lecture. So I will upload it on my YouTube channel, Dr. Peter for you, For you to all watch and also learn from each other. I know some of you were not able to join me online or join us online. Those who were not able to join us online, you can watch the video. And please, whether you presented or you did not present, I'm taking the work two weeks from now. This time you are going to add additional functionality like the buttons so that you do the queries. Do all these things and let me have the final work by two weeks time. Meaning next week, I will just do a maximum of two hours. I will leave the rest of the hours with you so that you can do whatever you want to do with respect to the project. Thank you very much and thank you for also joining my class today. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Thank Same you, to Doc. you, Doc. Thank you.